I'm Reverend Tyler Wagamaker. And I'm the Reverend Cedric Parcells. And Cedric, we are here on Calvin University's campus. Yep. Because nice it, it was the start of Synod today. It is the start of Synod. It, it wasn't, although we are in front of the chapel. We are uh, indeed. It does look a little bit like the Pizza Hut a little bit because, in fact, I yes, know when I, was, when I was a, a student <laughs> at Calvin, we'd say, you know, the, the thing, the building, it looks like the Pizza Hut. Yes. Uh, but they do have good food, I have to say. Pizza Hut does or Calvin University? Calvin University That's has right. good food. So. Calvin University has very good food. That's right. And, uh, and they have... And, and they the have delegates that. will learn that over the course of this week. They do like to feed you at, at Calvin and wherever Synod is at because they, they have breaks as they well do. as the meals. and Numerous break time, coffee breaks. Numerous coffee breaks, Numerous. breaks because that's an opportunity to get to know people exactly and, right. and have fellowship. Yep. And, and they will be having some of those breaks, of course, closer to here mm -hmm. rather than where it usually is held just over there uh, on campus at the Covenant Fine Arts yes, Center, yes. but but they chose a more intimate setting. Yes, it, it, it's closer here. You yep. get to know each other perhaps a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, be, even in the bathrooms, I think. Actually, yes. one of the things I noticed, maybe there could be a few more stalls. <laughs> yes. um, but they were clean. Uh, they were very clean. Very clean. They were yeah. very clean. So Just a few of them. So <laughs> th it's very true. So, But very thankful for running water. They were running. roads running water. That's so right. Yes. All these, these are first world problems. Th these <laughs> are. And, uh, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, that is a blessing. Yeah. So, but... But they they did get started. They had a time of worship because that's yes, how synod always begins. And mm -hmm. Church of the Servant is a hosting church. They were, yeah. and a lot of different yeah. kind of multi ethnic, uh, multi language so. feel yes, yes. to a lot of the songs. There was a richness in it. Yeah, they had Swahili and they had yes. Korean, and it was all woven into the service. And very well done, very yeah. thoughtful. And uh, and even the, uh, the sermon that Reverend Andrew Mead gave, yes. um, focusing on Philippians 2, verse 2, and especially that, that one phrase, make my joy complete, the Apostle yes. Paul said. And that was his theme, right. um, uh, the joy of the Lord kind of is my strength. Right. And uh, encouraged and, and gave a couple of stories, even examples of that in, in everyday ministry life, of how the joy of people coming to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, even yes. after he, he gave an example of someone who had been enslaved to the sin of addiction of alcohol for a over 50 years, and by God's grace um, and his power, and uh, you know, broke free of that and the joy that that brought yeah. Uh, yeah. to that congregation. Yes, and also, I mean, the, the wonderful thing about it was is that this man's neighbors have been praying for him yes. for years and years and years, and they showed up at this meeting uh, thinking they needed help to reach out to this guy, and he, the guy was there. And he said, the Lord saved me. That's right. See? <laughs> so, and that's joyful. That and, is. and that's what we want to celebrate. I know in the Vibe Project, that's one of the things that we keep putting forward, that this is not, this is not matters of rules and regulations. Yeah. This is a matter. This is a joy of the Lord right. that he continues to do a good work in his people and bringing people out of their sins, exactly. bringing us as God's people, continuing to sanctify us and yeah. making us more and more into the, the likeness of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And we see that, Lord willing, in our lives every day. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to see others come to that joy too, because there is a great joy. So a wonderful sermon yeah. that really did set the pace mm -hmm. for, um, uh, for Synod. Yes. Uh, we were greeted by Dr. Weba Bohr. In fact, we are kind of across. We are. I think we might be technically on his lawn I here, Cedric. Right that, lawn. In fact, right before we were going to record, he, he said we could enjoy his hospitality. He did. He was very, very hospitable. <laughs> Although the sprinklers did go on right before we were supposed to, yes. to give this video, so maybe that was a subtle way of saying uh, we love hospitality, but maybe not necessarily yeah, so close. No. Of, uh, so, not. yes, but <laughs> the lawn is well watered here, is and it? and it was very hospitable. In fact, uh, yeah. I, it's such a beautiful campus. I always enjoy coming back to Calvin University yeah. and to the campus. And he did invite the delegates to come explore it because there are beautiful areas to mm -hmm. to just go out into yeah. creation, the nature preserve, the nature preserve. Yep. And so, and it is beautiful weather. So, Lord beautiful. has blessed us, and it's going to get cooler. So that's nice for it everybody. For rain, I know yeah. in West Michigan we've been praying for rain quite a bit. Right after there was a greeting, there was a, a mandated by Synod 2019 mandated a power and privilege yes. um, presentation. Yep. And uh, anything about that that struck you about that, sir? Oh, I thought Sean Baker did a great job mm -hmm. in uh, presenting mm -hmm. that, and he talked about different styles mm -hmm. of leadership, and talked about you know how they can be helpful in some contexts and not helpful in others. So sometimes you can be too prophetic, you know, and sometimes you can be too permissive yes. and or too pastoral, as, mm -hmm. as he's put it. And uh, you don't really want to be on either of those. You want to, 
as he said a number of times, we thought this was the most wonderful this thing he could say. Wonderful thing. Beautiful. Yes. You want to keep going up and to the right. Up and to the up right. Up and to the right. That's, a, that's an exact <laughs> quote. Keep so, going. <laughs> so praise God for, for, the, for that call. And, yeah. uh, but, but that does lead us. And I know it was for the graph. But, yes, uh, yes. but certainly we're always called to look upwards to, right. to, to, our, exactly to our God. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and then he will continue he to shape the church. Said, he also said something I thought was profound, profound or important to hear. And that is, is that, you know, as we go through this, we do need to see each other's at each other as the bo- members of the body of Christ. Yes. Right? Even with those whom we yeah. disagree. And even in our disagreement, even in our calling people to repentance, this is not to be punitive or to punish them for its own sake, but simply to call them back into the joy yeah. of the Lord yeah. that we have. Through Jesus, through faith and repentance in Jesus Christ, and a lot of it goes back to that joy, kind of that that sermon that exactly it, uh, right. that it began with. So, right. after that, they went into really one of the the key parts of a morning of gathering together. Once you've worshipped, is choosing ele- uh, selecting electing officers um, for synod, and they did go about doing that. Yes, um, four officers: uh, president, vice president, first clerk, second clerk. Mm-hmm. Uh, first uh, for the president, um, Paul De Vries, Reverend Paul De Vries. He's served many times, many times as, in different ways. At synod. He's yes. served, I think he's been Synod president maybe twice. Yes, I believe so. Uh, he served on the In Loco Committee uh, that oversaw the implementation of Synod 22's uh, stuff with regard to classes Grand Rapids East yes. and Neeland Avenue. And we saw in his report or in his committee's report that they are recommending continued work to be done with regard to Well, even these. was even calling Synod to... Synod really needs to take the next step because they yeah. did as much as they could. But right. but he, in many ways, was representing that almost an encouragement. Synod, you have to follow through now on what you decided in 2022. Right. And in many ways, he embodies that as as the as the president. Yes. Um, and that the body selected him, someone who has a lot of experience mm-hmm. and also on the Council of Delegates as well, that he yeah. chaired that. So he comes with a very steady hand. Um, vice chair or vice president is our good friend Chad Steenway. Reverend Chad Steenway out of Holland. Yep. And so he was uh, someone on the very first vote, didn't even know, need to go down to any yeah, more rounds than that. Yeah, on the exactly. clear majority Everyone on the first round of vote, basically. Uh, Chad Steenway for, for vice president, who also is the chair of the Abide Project. That's right. Um, as well. Yeah. Uh, first clerk, they um, had a couple of rounds, two rounds or so, and they pretty quickly I came so. to a, a decision. Yes. Um, and so a, a Canadian, actually. So the first mm-hmm. two um Chair and vice chair were, were Americans, Americans. Yeah. Um, but the first clerk and second clerk ended up both being Canadians. Uh, Henry, um, let me see, Cranenberg. I'm not yes, as exactly. familiar with him, but I know many are. And so, uh, again, comes with someone who's a steady hand, a lot of experience. Yep. And sharing yeah. meetings and sharing meetings yep. as well. And out of Alberta. Yep. And uh, the second one was Reverend Richard Bonini. Yep. Out and of classes, Toronto. Out of classes, Toronto. And again, he, he has served as their classes clerk, I think, for quite a long yes, time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And again, a lot of knows how to to conduct meetings, knows how to get along with others and work through things. But but ideologically, if, if you kind of look at where they're all known for. Mm-hmm. The officers of sin and kind of run the gamut from yes, from more revisionists, and Reverend Bonini is mm-hmm. known for that. Yep. Certainly, Reverend Steenwijk on the Orthodox side, yep. and and so I don't think anyone can come out of this synod and say that uh, that again the church has not been attentive and listening to a lot of the different voices as they weigh as they will weigh and as they will deliberate and as they will make a decision. Yeah, due so. due consideration, due process is going to be followed and. Uh, yeah, again, I don't think anyone can come out of this synod saying uh, we didn't have a good synod, a good process, a good conversation. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, um, and then finally, there was the program um, committee report, which was just kind of perfunctory. Who's yeah, going to be on what much. committees? They approved that. There was a floor motion that was made yes, there was. Um, right before they broke for, for lunch. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of saying, let's put a pause, let's put a pause on synod, uh, on a lot of the deliberations, and let's let committee eight really take the forefront yeah. on this because they're going to deal with who can even be delegated to right. higher bodies like Synod. Yeah. We have to decide who even is um, uh, has permitted. is permitted, who has yeah. signed the covenant of office bearers, who means it. What does that even look like? Exactly. That's a lot of the big, those are the big issues right. uh, surrounding this Synod. Yeah. And, those, and I think one, so, but. And it, was a, it was a floor motion. Yes. Uh, and uh, ultimately Synod decided, you know what, we're just getting started Let's get into the shallow end of the pool first before yes. we jump into the, the deep end of the pool. And so, but that, nevertheless, I mean, even, I think the fact that he, um, Chad Workoven, he was the guy who uh, presented that from Classes Minkota. Yes, yes. Um, I think that 
you know, the fact that he um, said that, you know, Committee 8 can take that and say, you know what, there mm -hmm. seems to be a voice on the floor. Mm -hmm. We should prioritize this. And maybe we'll see it early next week. So, And there were a number of voices who voted for that, oh, for sure. um, but yeah. not a majority. Right. And I think, again, a lot of times at the beginning of Synod, like you said, people like to just kind of get their feet wet and, yeah. and slowly wade into things. And especially it was a big ask. And uh, for a lot of delegates who've never been to a synod before, yeah. they... they intimidating. Kind of, Very it, intimidating. It can be. And yeah. so we'll, things will work themselves out, and we will keep trusting the Lord, and the Lord's will will be done, and we'll keep praying. I know many have been in prayer. Mm -hmm. That was mentioned. And we'll continue to encourage also God's people at home to do that. Yep. And keep the Lord is our joy. Yes. Is our so joy. we will probably have another update maybe on Monday or Monday, so once probably. they come back to once the committees are all done with their work and, and then they'll start to work through it in a plenary session and we will look forward to kind of talking about it amongst ourselves and then sharing some of that as well with you at home. So until then, have a good Lord's Day. You too.